Mark what I have said, for it is a very difficult concept to convey. The direct examination of any of your witnesses is very likely to be the same no matter where you call them, correct? What will most vary and change is the cross-examination. Put it this way. If pain is called before Steingold, is it easier or harder to cross-examine him than if Steingold is called before pain? Yeah. The worst scenario from the defendant's point of view for purposes of cross-examination, is it true, would be to call Steingold first and then pain, correct? <coughs> pain will be much harder to cross-examine, why? Because Steingold will have prepared the way for his credibility, his believability, and for the fact that when he later takes the stand and he was face to face with a racist in Venezuela, the jury will be conditioned for it, correct? And we've got it all wrong in our business. Most of us are trained what? Look, save your best points for last, right? Save something for rebuttal, right? Save something so that you can ride in on the scene and save Custer after sitting bulls about to kill him, true? That's crazy. I don't believe it. We should try cases the way the old U.S. Army went to war. You get there firstest with the mostest and you never stop coming. The object of a case is not to wait until you get in trouble and then ride in with bugles blazing to save yourself. You're going against the wind then, not with it. The object is to get way ahead and do all you can to stay way ahead. Let the other guy play catch up, not you. Now, under this analysis, as much as anything else, and this is about as subtle a thing as I have ever said to you, but as true, as much as anything else, when you contemplate the order of your witnesses, you must concern yourself with not just what they will say, but how they make it more difficult for your adversary to cross-examine the people who come after. It is the highest form of the art that I know. And it is for that reason that I shall say to you another subtle thing. The last decision that good trial lawyers make, in my opinion, even after they've crafted a theme and a theory, even after they have determined what the opening statement should be, even after they have done all of that, they decide on their order of witnesses because, you see, that requires the most information of all. Not just the picture, but the way the picture should come in, mainly as against what your adversary can do about it as it is being formed before them. As far as rebuttal is concerned, for those that agree with me, the answer to the following question should be very easy. What should you say for rebuttal? Nothing! Nothing! Whatever you can anticipate, you do yourself. And then there is nothing to rebut. Rebuttal may sometimes be necessary, but if necessary, it will be basically because you are unable to anticipate and identify and deal with it yourself. If you can analyze a case so that you can deal with the difficulties yourself, like as not, they will never be heard at all. <laughs>